Fox and Flower. Ready, 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 ready. Finish him. Okay. You ready, you ready, you ready? Word problems, word. Here, Jackie has grades of 76, 80 on her first two algebra tests if she wants an average of at least 72, what are the possible scores she can make on her third exam? Oh boy. So we need to talk about averages. Averages, for sure, for sure. How many things are we trying to average? Three. Tee -hee, tee -hee. So then we go and we set that average up on over here. So Jackie scores a 76 and an 80. Do we know what she got on her first, third exam? No. So we go and we throw an X up in there. That's the average of three scores. Now what do we want? We want a score of 72 or more in total on all of her work. So then we work with at least 72. Ooh. So now we gotta go and we gotta solve that inequality. Here, what I'm gonna do, see, is I'm gonna relieve myself of these fractions by taking this action. I'm gonna multiply both sides by three. Tee hee, tee hee. And on the left side, I'm left with that numerator. That's 76 plus 80 plus x. That's gonna be bigger than or equal to, wait for it, 216. Now what? Adam, I'm gonna add those two. And I do. There's a 6, uh huh, and a 1, 5. Oh boy. And all this other stuff stays the same. That's an x, and that still needs to be bigger than or smaller, bigger than or equal to 216. Now I subtract off that 156 from both sides. And when I do, x turns out to be. Wait for it, wait for it, 60. So what does that mean? That means she needs to score more than 60 in order to maintain an average of 72 or more. That's right, we'll do it in the mirror. Box and flower.